Hi all, welcome to Sri Solar Life. I hope uh, you have seen all the videos related to the solar and other technologies which was uh, published on our YouTube channels. Uh, uh, we want you to be clear how uh, about the solar panel, how we want to be installed. Uh, uh, before going to install, you to be clear what exactly you need required for your uh, demand of the loads. Uh, uh, today uh, we are going to talk about the uh, solar panel selection for a particular area. We want you to be sure so what are the details we are telling on this you know, video uh, that's going to be set on for only that locations if you are shipping the panel to somewhere else uh, uh, there will be impact on the solar panel performance in the sense the reading it may increase or it may decrease based upon the locations where you are going to install and whenever you install the panels uh, you have to be clear all the criteria as well as you have to see the shared temperatures a lot many things uh, basically we call it the orientations as well uh, so today we are going to see the solar panel locations for one location is called uh, it's a Vaisak so it's called uh, Visakhapatnam it's located in Andhra Pradesh its country will be in India the exact locations will be uh, it's near to the best western Ramachandra Batmata Jha hotels and the exact locations will be Mohini cinema theater so I could say uh, here the longitude and latitude will be is 17.68 83.20 that will be the exact locations uh, we have considered to install the solar panels assume we have uh, any of the residential or commercials located uh, at this uh, locations so here what we do is uh, we have taken the basic load and we are calculating all the loads so what energies uh, you require on daily basis and you are going to operate those load in the monthly and yearly so we have calculated all the loads are based upon the calculations and we also uh, taken the historic data about the weather conditions as well uh, which is related to the sun radiations and etc even we have uh, calculated uh, the weather conditions in the sense it's summer winter rainy so all the conditions we have taken into the accounts to calculate the solar sizing so we want you to be clear uh, selecting the solar panel is not based on only the cloud or KV and whatsoever it's purely based upon what energies you need to be generated from the systems and how many loads you are going to utilize daily basis so based on that uh, you have to calculate and then you have to go for the panels if you select any of the panels it's not going to be generated the same unit for all the locations so we want you to understand the systems what exactly you required so that's what we are trying to explain here on this video so according to these calculations what you have done uh, see we consider the solar panel with the uh, polycrystalline panels uh, if you are planning for the mono also you can go ahead uh, based upon your budgets uh, uh, you have to be very clear of the direction of the panels as well when you install on the rooftop or wherever you want to uh, see the shared temperature as well uh, you need to go with the uh, grey downs panels uh, it could be any of the panels in the market so you have to see the panel specifications basically called as uh, characteristics of panels uh, basically what we do is uh, we used to see the almost 50 to 60 characteristics of uh, panels uh, so that's we call as engineering calculations uh, so based on the calculations so we used to size the panels so what are the videos we are uh, putting in the post videos for the YouTube so uh, we uh, calculate uh, you know exact locations like how many loads you want to generate and how many loads uh, you are using for a daily basis and then we are calculating all the details then we are going for the uh, selecting the panels uh, so that is the actual procedures and apart from that uh, uh, you have to see the lot of uh, protections and conversion kit etc uh, so uh, according to this calculations so what we have uh, considered here uh, we have considered 25 watts lights uh, uh, lights we can say any of the loads so 25 watts uh, four numbers uh, that's running for five hours and 10 watts uh, uh, toll numbers that's running for four hours per day 100 watts loads four numbers toll hours running per day 100 watts loads one numbers that's running eight hours per day and uh, 50 watts load uh, two numbers that's running 12 hours per day so all this load uh, it's running for the 100 percentage of duty cycles uh, 
So here we have considered all the losses related to the panels. If you talk about the aging factor, derating, so a lot of the engineering criteria is there. So we have taken all the uh, details uh, while calculating the system. So, so according to these calculations, so, um, the energy requirements is so based upon these calculations. So you need to generate uh, 2,855 units per year. So here we have taken the year, probably you can put it by dividing the tolls for a month, you can able to see that. Uh, so according to this uh, uh, unit, so we have calculated all the charge and discharge levels um, for the system. So, so based upon these calculations, you have to go with that uh, 2,800 WP polycrystalline panels for these locations to achieve the uh, power, uh, which I said before. So you could able to get the exact power. Uh, I believe uh, this video may help a lot of people to see that uh, uh, we, have, we, uh, we have a uh, group of people so, who had a lot of experience with global projects. Uh, we also getting to many of the peoples. Here, when you talk about the solar panels, once you generate the energy, you need to be stored to the battery if you want to make autonomy. So here, uh, you can plan for a day or two or whatsoever. You can go ahead with that. Uh, according to this calculation, you have to go for a total set of the batteries. Uh, it's just required to achieve, uh, to store the energy through the battery. If you are increasing the uh, number of uh, backup, you need to go with that. Then you can increase the batteries by putting a series of parallel connections. So you can increase the battery. Uh, we want you to be sure here we have taken all the weather conditions, including the cloudy and the clear sky, everything. So we have taken on these uh, calculations. I believe uh, many people have already installed the panels, but you are not sure what's going what's readings uh, you are going to get and what readings you are getting exactly you couldn't know that in case if you have any concerns of that probably you can put a mail to life at gmail.com and many of the people are already working on the systems related to the projects or solar whatsoever uh, if you have any concerns or any doubts probably you can put a mail to life at gmail.com we are here to help you on these systems whatsoever uh, when you design the systems so the PV generates from the disease uh, it generates a DC basically, right? Uh, so if you are converting to the AC, you, you may have a lot of technologies available in the market. So if you want to store your energies to the backup, so all those things, uh, you have to make a proper protection. So you be you not you need to cancel, uh, you need to consider all the protections for the entire systems. Uh, uh, basically, when you design the solar panels, switch systems, entire system, I'm talking about entire systems. Uh, you can design because it's based on the designs like you can design up to from the two years or 10 or 20 so based on this entire designs how many years you are going to design so if you are spending uh, uh, if you are concentrating on the beginning stage itself so you can able to avoid a lot of maintenance in the features too uh, here we have also considered uh, the dust losses for these panels so it means to say that you don't need to clean the panel for a uh, week or a uh, day whatsoever you know repeatedly you don't have to do that you can do it for a month I mean once in a three or six months that will be more than sufficient so, uh, so I think uh, when you are selecting the batteries also you have to be very sure you have to select the proper battery uh, by considering the temperature aging factors lot of factors or there you only have to see that you would etc and then you can size it uh, I hope uh, this video uh, help you a lot so. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Can you share this video to your friend circles if you have any concern on this related to the solar panels installations and whatsoever. Probably you can put a mail to 3solarlife at gmail.com. Thank you.